Well, that went out a dream there. When you're casting big, heavy spods, especially with braid, you really want to make sure that your fingers are protected at all times. For that, you need to use a casting glove or a finger stool, just like the one that I've got here, which is from Wolf. And I'll run you through why I like this casting glove in particular in a moment. So this here is the Wolf XK1 casting glove. And as you can see, it's basically a finger stool, but with a strap that goes around your wrist. And that's personally why I prefer this version. It gives you that little bit more security. But the main feature of these is the Kevlar finger here. That's the same thing that Bulletproof vests are made out of. And basically what it means is that your braid's never gonna cut through that. So your finger's always gonna be protected. The great thing about the use of Kevlar is that when it gets wet, it stays really nice, soft and supple. And even as it goes dry, wet, dry, wet, over multiple sessions, it'll still keep in great condition as this one is here, meaning the braid's never gonna cut through. Whereas conventional sort of leather finger stools, get them wet, they dry out, get them wet, they dry out again, they end up going either really hard and brittle or they get so soft that the braid ends up cutting through them. Wolf also do a number of finger stools with the same Kevlar protection there. And these simply slide onto your finger. Obviously you'd slide onto your casting finger when you come to cast, and that provides just enough grip so that it doesn't fly off. Um, it just makes it really nice and simple. The finger stools come in a variety of sizes from small through to extra large and some in between as well, which basically means that no matter how big or small your fingers are, you can make sure that you've got a finger stool which fits nice and snugly so they won't come off when you're casting. So there you go, that's the Wolf XK1 casting glove and finger stools are real essential when you're spotting.